Since December 2019, a new variant of the coronavirus called 2019 NCoV has been spreading from China. Outside China, several dozen cases have been confirmed. The virus has spread to at least 16 countries. Currently, almost 8,000 cases of infection have been confirmed. 170 people have died of the disease in China. Infections and deaths both show a strong upward trend. However, these figures need to be put into perspective. In Germany, for example, each flu season, from a couple of hundred to up to 20,000 people die of the influenza viruses. Some types of coronaviruses that are otherwise common among animals can also spread to humans, such as the SARS virus in 2002 and the MERS virus in 2012. The new virus has probably been transmitted to humans from snakes or bats and is a close relative of the SARS virus. When infected, the symptoms can vary widely from mild to severe with intense coughing, shortness of breath, high fever, and pneumonia. So far, people with weak immune systems and previous illnesses are among the fatalities. It is still unclear how the disease develops from milder to more severe symptoms. What is certain is that the virus can be transmitted from person to person and has an apparently longer incubation period of up to 14 days. This is problematic because the virus can spread without carriers of the virus showing signs of disease. The genome of the virus is decoded, but it will take years to develop a vaccine. The close relationship of the new virus to SARS and the fact that people can spread it without showing symptoms is the main reason for global concern. As the SARS virus spread rapidly and aggressively, authorities around the world are on high alert. In addition to the 11 million metropolis of Wuhan, where the virus originated, more than a dozen other Chinese cities in Hubei province have been quarantined and sealed off from the outside world. However, the still ongoing 10-day Chinese New Year celebrations during which hundreds of millions of people set off to visit their families, will undoubtedly lead to a further spread of the virus. The WHO has therefore declared the spread of the new coronavirus a public health emergency of international concern.